yeah dear sybsc students uh, in the previous three sessions we have seen most of the characteristics of different types of simple harmonic motion starting from different types of equilibriums then how to define a simple harmonic oscillator how to get its differential equation how to get solution of that how to apply the solution for calculating velocity and acceleration how to plot them and how to get information from these types of plots similarly in the last session we have seen how to go for calculation of energy potential and kinetic total energy too and how this energy varies from uh, location to location kinetic and potential and how this total energy remains constant similarly we have seen that there is no loss of energy in case of such type of simple harmonic oscillator or free undamped oscillators then at the same time we have seen two such examples how this torsional pendulum works or how, what is the expression for that as well as to certain extent we have looked into the simple pendulum too now let's go to the application part of this theory what we have learned here in this undamped free oscillations and this is what the theory comes in a very simple way that when two different types of shms are acting on a same particle earlier we have taken only one shm and that is acting on one particle so resultant path we have seen which is given by that expression for displacement in the uh, uh, sing, uh, circular or the angular simple harmonic motion or the uh, sim uh, linear simple harmonic motion we have already seen this expression for path followed by that object which is acted upon by such type of simple harmonic motion in spite of single simple harmonic motion now if an object is acted upon by two different shms making certain angle or perpendicular then the resultant path is now very interesting phenomenon in physics the resulting getting resulting path is now uh, that is what called as composition of two shms um, <coughs> either parallel or perpendicular or whatever now this is what the important derivation from here we are not going to carry out this derivation but we are going to understand this phenomenon of composition of two shms of equal frequencies perpendicular to each other so here the frequencies omega 1 and omega 2 both of these shms are taken to be same and this simple harmonic motions are acting on a particle in the perpendicular directions to each other suppose one is in the x direction and second is in the y direction or one is in the x direction and second is in the z direction or that we can take any of the pair of combination of any any two directions which are going to be perpendicular to each other other than that from this type of simple analysis we can understand the resultant path followed by a particle which is acting upon by acted being acted upon by two different types of shms is a very interesting path as i said earlier so this simple derivation that that we will discuss here so let's take a simple harmonic motion in mutually perpendicular directions constitutes a two dimensional motion so it gives result to a, resultant to a two dimensional motion let the displacement in x and y directions be these are the two shms first shm is given to be x is equal to e times sin omega t this is in the direction of x axis for example if this is my x y z directions axis so in the one direction this shm suppose this is x this shm is acted like this and if it is y so if it is taken y this is the another direction so this particular particle is being acted upon by two shms one in the x direction given by equation a times sin omega t this is its amplitude so amplitude of the shms which is acting in the x direction is given by a and whereas the uh, uh, shm in the direction of y axis is going to be y is equal to b times sin omega t plus phi so phase here in the first case phase is omega t in the second case phase is omega t plus phi so the difference phase difference between these two is given to be phi and b is the amplitude in the second case now look at this the force in x direction does not affect the displacement in y direction or vice versa that means it it doesn't cancel that means if there is force on x direction so it will cancel y or there is shm in the y direction that why it will cancel x that doesn't happen independently both of these two forces act 
simultaneously and that resultant is the resultant of these two different types of forces or two different types of shms so this phenomenon is very very important in physics at several locations several subjects several branches of physics this is used and this is called as superposition of two shms or that is also called as composition of two shms or simple harmonic motion in optics you might have heard about this phenomenon this is called as interference so interference is also a phenomenon where an an object or uh, is eliminated by two light radiations with certain angle or certain uh, small difference between them and this this gives rise to a certain phenomenon that is called as interference we have heard about this constructive destructive interference etc so this phenomenon of interference is also a phenomenon of superposition of two light waves lights light light uh, waves are working as two shms at that time mechanically in the mechanical system whenever two such type of shms are acting on a particle and they give rise to a certain new pattern or new type of motion of that object then it is called as superposition of two uh, shms so that's what and the resulting motion here we will find is the two dimensional motion so there is now in spite of a single dimensional motion either x and y there is a two dimensional motion which is given by following relation so solving this using this analytical treatment when we go for use of this analytical treatment that is given in our textbook we obtain the final expression for the resultant path as this is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square minus twice xy into cos phi upon ab is equal to sin square phi where already we have seen this phi is nothing but phase now here this is the resultant how to arrive at this resultant that is what mathematics in between you have to look into your textbook to learn this particular steps in between doesn't matter we can show that these two waves these two shms which are acting together and the resultant path and object will be followed or will be obtained by this expression given as x square upon a square plus y square upon b square minus twice xy into cos phi upon ab it's a product is equal to sin square phi remember this is called as conic equation or conic section this actually represents equation of ellipse so this is representing an equation of ellipse now this ellipse can be a circle can be converted into circle can be converted to line depending upon values of a e and b as well as value of phi and based upon that we can have several cases several resultants from this equation that is what we are going to discuss further so the nature of the path depends on amplitudes this a and b whether a is greater than b b is greater than a or both a and b are same that is what that decides as well as it depends upon the phase difference whether this phi is equal to 0 phi is equal to pi by 2 so limited cases we are going to discuss phi is equal to uh, pi or phi is equal to twice pi etc depending different values of phi as well as depend depending different cases of this amplitudes of a and b several different types of paths are possible so importantly we have to realize, realize that resulting motion may not be an oscillatory at all although it is periodic so resultant motion is periodic but it is not necessarily every time it will be oscillatory not necessary so how that is what we are going to discuss here now look at this when we go for such analysis of different amplitudes and different uh, this phase difference literally this equation can give you millions or billions of different types of paths so this is not a single only one single path will not be uh, as a resultant possible a minute change in a or b as well as minute change in this phi that this uh, entire equation results in a different format for example just go for one simple case when both of this amplitude of a and b are equal that is supposed to be taken to be a and if this phi is made zero that means there is no phase difference what will happen to this equation here this b or a can be replaced by this so new equation will be now i am writing here x square upon a square plus y square upon b square plus now when this phi is equal to 0 cos of phi is 1 so this becomes minus twice xy into uh, cos phi is 
divide by this is now simply a square and remember here this is sin square phi since phi is equal to 0 sin phi is 0 and therefore sin uh, this this is sin square phi is also equal to 0 therefore resultant equation will be now this is a square here i can write so a square is common everywhere so it is x square plus a square uh, and a square s can be cancelled everywhere plus twice x y is equal to 0 so this, this is one separate um, uh, e a geometrical uh, equation there or it will represent some geometrical shape there another case if a and b are equal and if i take phi is equal this phi is equal to pi by 2 or 90 degrees in this case this cos phi will become 0 and sin phi will be equal to 1 and therefore this second third term disappears here and this equation will get cons converted as x square plus y square is equal to simply a square and then this equation becomes an equation of circle so whether to get an equation of circle whether to get a line whether to get a parabola whether to get a hyperbola everywhere everything that several possibilities are there that is dependent upon this values of a and b and value of phi and that is how this particular technique is used by Lissazos to identify different types of figure or this this type of this invention this discovery of Lissazos figures is based upon this analysis of this type of different amplitudes and different um, frequencies note that we have taken only two SHMs now if three SHMs are there again resultant will be different four five six number of SHMs are there uh, hundreds of millions of billions of types of different types of figures can be generated which can be called as the Lissajous figures okay so when a particle is this is what an in discovery made by Lissajous in 1857 so what is this when a particle is subjected to two mutually perpendicular simple harmonic motions it traces a path on a plane that depends upon the frequencies amplitude and phases of the component shms if the frequencies of the two component shms are not equal then the path of the particle is no longer an ellipse but have a curve which is called as a lissajous curve so this is the definition of lissajous curves several different types of curves are found to be possible okay so these curves were first demonstrated by jules antonio lissajous in 1857 remember the year before almost before 160 70 years this particular concept was given by Lissajous and this is one one very nice uh, simulation that shows you these are the two pairs of uh, the the springs and these springs okay these are undergoing this simultaneous uh, extension and compression so this compression and extension that shows you the resultant this this whenever this particular spring first spring okay vertical spring goes down and this also so this particular speed has been maintained in such a manner the resultant obtained is going to be a circle there so this particle which is acted upon this undergoes a circle as shown by these two resultant motion this is one very simple common example a circle is a simple Lissajous curve that can be shown by this particular computer simulation where it has been shown that there are two pairs of springs that are oscillating and the resultant oscillation or the resultant of the path followed by these two sessions that gives rise to a circle as shown here so this type of several different types of simulations can be shown and that that everything is nothing but a Lissajous figures so more about that we will discuss further here now <coughs> here i am just changing a little bit in spite of having amplitudes same or different i am having two different types of phases phase one and phase two now let's see that the equation of motion of two mutually mutually means exact perpendicular we are not discussing any angle there other than 90 degrees mutually perpendicular simple harmonic motions acting simultaneously on a particle as given as this time x is equal to a sin omega t plus phi 1 and y is equal to b times sin omega t plus phi 2 now i have a choice whether to keep omega 1 equal to omega 2 is equal to some omega or we have to keep omega 1 more than omega 2 
as well as we can have omega 2 more than omega 1 slightly more than largely more than like that Th different types of cases are possible and a and b are as usual these are the said to be the amplitudes of both of these motion phi 1 and phi 2 are initial phases difference between them that is called as the phase difference so path traced by the particle depends upon these ratios omega 1 upon omega 2 whether they are same that means 1 is to 1 ratio is there 1 is to 2 ratio is there 2 is to 1 ratio is there or 1 is to 3 ratio is there lot many choices are there and the amplitude and the phase difference phi is equal to difference between phi minus phi 1 minus phi 2 earlier we have just taken uh, for the first wave we have taken phi is equal to 0 that's why the phi was the phase difference here uh, phi 1 and phi 2 are taken as initial phases therefore the phase difference of this pair of shms is given to be phi 1 minus phi 2 so if omega 1 minus omega 2 is rational number i think you understand what do you mean by rational number so that the angular frequencies are commensurable and the curve is the closed curve so whether to get a circle or whether to get a parabola this is called as open curve and this is called as a closed curve closed lissajous curve here this omega 1 upon omega 2 is rational and whenever it is irrational omega 1 upon omega 2 is irrational we get this type of curve which is called as open uh, open uh, lissajous figure so to get a open lissajous figures we need omega 1 upon omega 2 this that their ratios to be irrational and if it is rational then definitely we get certain types of the the <coughs> curves which are called as the closed curve okay so for that let's go for different types of examples now mathematical treatment if we follow for this omega 1 and omega 2 in the ratios 1 is to 1 we are having first signal of this SMH, SM, SHM is x is equal to a sin omega 1 t plus phi 1 and second is b times y, y in the y direction b times sin of omega t plus phi 2 if these two resultants are taken together these two SHMs are taken together and if this is the case if a and b are equal and this is uh, uh, phi is equal to pi by 2 already we have in the, uh, in the last uh, slide we have seen this if a and b are equal and if phi is equal to pi by 2 then this cos phi becomes 0 and sin phi becomes 1 and the resulting that equation for ellipse gets resulted into a circle and we get a circle as shown here in the first diagram this is our first Lissajous figure where we take this amplitude of both SHMs are same and phase difference between them is pi by 2 that is what the case that gives you circle this is first diagram now in the second if I somehow if I make a is greater than b that means amplitude along x axis is made more than amplitude in the y direction of the y axis again phase difference equal to pi this time circle gets converted into ellipse which is having its semi major axis along x whereas semi minor axis is along y so in spite of circle we are getting a closed diagram that is the uh, ellipse as shown in the here so that is the second case these, these are not only two cases several other cases are possible when we have this angle a is greater than b and angle is more than pi by 2 so it is 3 pi by 4 you can calculate this angle this time the resultant path obtained of this this particular particle will be an ellipse but it is a tilted ellipse as shown here by this and if in the another case if this angle is pi by 4 so look at this when this angle is pi by 4 we get this type of ellipse when this angle is 3 pi by 4 for this case we get this type of ellipse so only for this combination we get circle for all other combinations depending upon this value of phi either i'll get an ellipse as shown in the figure 2 or ellipse shown in the figure 3 in this case pi phi is equal to pi by 4 and in the last case in phi is equal to 3 pi by 4 e is greater than b i'll get ellipse of this particular type so this is what we can get a simple pair that these frequencies of both of these shms are same they are in the ratio 1 is to 1 and we get four different figures for values of pi by 2 pi by 2 then this is 3 pi by 4 and pi by 4 so this type of mathematical analysis can be carried out and we get several different types of figures as shown here next year for some example another example now this time i am taking ratios of omega 1 and omega it is 1 is to 2 that means uh, omega 1 omega 2 is more and omega 1 is less 
so this is twice omega 1 is equal to 2 this type of ratio if i am taking or omega this is what 1 is to 2 or 2 is to 1 what, whatever in this case the resultant path will result into this 8 horizontal 8 whereas if this ratio is changed 1 is to 2 in spite of that now it is 2 is to 1 so frequency of sx uh, direction shm is more double than this y direction shm then this 8 here horizontal gets converted into vertical 8 and here a is greater than b as well as pi is equal to pi by 2 another case when i go for another examples that <coughs> uh, different cases uh, if i change here in this case if i uh, these actually these two diagrams are just shown here this is what the case here this 8 gets converted as we increase this a more than b or b more than a to what side this particular 8 has to be shifted that will be decided by this amplitudes of a and b and thus this is not only the case there can be several hundred thousand million billions of diagrams can be generated from two shms just by varying their frequencies just by varying their amplitudes and that's how such innumerable number of waves uh, innumer innumerable number of such type of patterns can be generated all these patterns are called as this lissajous figures and that's what this is one animation here again see there i am changing so animation showing curve adaptation as ratios e by b amplitude of shm in the direction x and amplitude of the shm in the direction y as this ratio increases from 0 to 1 so minimum value is 0 maximum value is 1 and you'll find that different types of diagrams are generated in this case so look at this very carefully this this animation you see here this value of a by b varies here okay this is going from 0 0.17 0 0.22 0 0.23 like that it is increasing and thereby actually this is a bit fast um, uh, animation otherwise you, you could have get a good good type of different diagrams which we are going to show further i'm going to show this that okay so that shows this animation shows you different types of lissajous figures are generated as we go on increasing the ratio of a upon b right from 0 to 1 maximum is 1 minimum is 0 and accordingly different types of lissajous figures can be generated again remember there are incountable number of such type of lissajous figures are shown as a resultant in this computer simulation you can go there are several simulations available on the net we can use such type of simulation and you can generate hundreds of thousands of millions or billions of such type of uh, lissajous figures in in practice okay and this has large many applications and so on now there are three different methods out of that two methods we are going to discuss here how to generate such type of lissajous figures in the laboratory for that there is one simple diagram this shows you there is an oscilloscope okay a cro that is called as cathode row oscilloscope and this oscilloscope is to be converted by two ac signals so there are two ac signals are to be connected along x and y so x is horizontal y is perpendicular where we are connecting look at the figure this is called as cathode ray oscilloscope tube or crt in crt these are the parts shown here this is the experiment actually we have to do so first diagram shows you we are connecting this audio os audio oscillator one at one end vertical input and connecting this another audio oscillator at horizontal input and this is uh, suppose this is connected to x and this is connected to y then i have to adjust frequencies of these two amp, uh, sources and their amplitude in such a manner on x screen i'll get different results as shown in this particular oscilloscope so what actually happens here in this case this is an electron gun which produces electrons and these electrons are allowed to go through this these are the two plates uh, parallel plates of the uh, um, where we are supposed to uh, apply this electromagnetic potential or this ac signals so this is y and this is x now y and x are perpendicular to each other so the field that is produced in y will be perpendicular to the field that is produced in x and when this electron is moving through this x and y it will be acted upon by two alternating fields which are changing and there these changes are shown to alternating field which are perpendicular to each other and they are changing according to the frequency or the signals which have been provided to this x and y and whenever this particle electron like particle which is coming out of these two fields it will be acted upon by two shms and it will generate the figures here as shown on this particular screen 
and screenshot of one of this has been shown there so such type of lissajous figures will be generated by this method when we apply to such type of electrical signals ac signals along x and y so varying frequency in the ratio 1 is to 1 1 is to 2 1 is to 3 etc as well as change amplitudes of signal ac signal 1 and ac signal 2 we get several different types of lissajous figures which we have already seen in the last case so thousands of such type of figures can be generated i am going to show one such demo also later on this is one method with which one can generate such type of lissajous method lissajous figures or lissajous curves second method is called as optical method it is very simple using light beam single light beam you can use a laser there mirrors two mirrors and pair of tuning forks which are set in such a manner they will give their oscillations in the perpendicular direction so that shows this is one lamp or this is one source of the light this is mirror kept on one of this this is my first tuning fork and this is the second tuning fork so one tuning fork oscillates in this way second tuning fork oscillates in this particular manner or whatever you can take any of this particular um, vibrations mode of the vibrations must be that first and second or second and first must be their vibrations must be in the perpendicular mode to each other so this light falls on this particular first mirror glass mirror then this gets reflected on this second uh, which is kept here and this then it gets reflected through this lens and these figures are generated on the screen as shown here so when this is set in motion these vibrations and when this is set in motion perpendicular to this these vibrations these two vibrations are re resulting path of this particular path followed by this light that will get in change in such a manner it will generate this type of figures on this screen as shown here so this is the optical method where, where which we can generate such type of lissajous figures innumerable by changing the magnitude as well as changing the frequencies of this two tuning fork this is one method that can be shown here and these are the shown to be resultant paths here hundreds of such type of resultant paths can be shown which are nothing but these lissajous figures in this concern i will just show you one simple youtube where we can get a um, uh, understanding of this someone please tell me whether you are able to see this or not <clears throat> i don't think it will work here or it will work i think yes uh anyone students are you able to see this sorry <clears throat> lot many have been created <clears throat> Dear students, are, are you able, able to, to see this? this? Anyone, Anyone, please, please reply. reply. Yes, sir. Okay, this, this is YouTube yes, answer. Sir. So this is the person. <coughs> see, this is the screen here he has kept. Now frequency ratio 1 is to 1. See, these two tuning forks have been plucked and these type of figures are generated there. Now, if the frequency ratio is made 3 is to 2, Again, we are plucking these two. So these are the different types of figures that has been shown there. Frequency ratio is more made 4 to 3. See, these are the resultant figures that are shown here. So simple laser has been used and different frequency ratios have been maintained. Accordingly, on the screen, we get these type of different figures. So this is the practical method with which one can generate such type of figures or such type of diagrams. Okay and these are called as the lissajous diagram so such type of hundreds of thousands of diagrams can be generated in practice so this is what these two methods one is called as electrical method one is called as optical method along with that there are several other mechanical methods too available we can see later on there are several types of youtubes available which show you how one can generate such type of lissajous figures and so on and lastly there are several applications these lissajous figures are much useful in physics not only in physics but other branches of the uh, sciences these lissajous figures play a very very vital role very simple application or first application that is we can determine the frequency of unknown ac source that means as we have seen at x we have to connect this known source of the ac signal and at y we have to keep the unknown source of ac signal now, varying the frequency in X and Y frequency is unknown, that is not known, but the uh, X uh, source that frequency can be changed and see the resultant, resultant obtained if it is circle, if it is ellipse, 
whether it is a straight line like this whether it is a straight line like this depending upon that we can determine the frequency of this another source that is unknown one so this is one very simple common application one with which one can measure frequency of the ac source of the uh, uh, frequency of the unknown ac source just by comparing these two with the figures getting the figures knowing the figures we can very and easily understand what should be the what would be the frequency of the unknown source that can be decided here that is one very common example second on laptops this is what or on your uh, mobile screen too laptops and desktops uh, there are several different types of skin scaver applications use lisazos figures with continuously varying w1 and w2 ratio so varying their frequencies we get different types of figure generated on your laptop screen as well as on your on your desktop screen which we use usually called as a screen savers lot many different types of figures can be generated sometimes you might have seen this type of application there in science fiction movies and tv shows these figures are used okay how how to use that is a different part but in science movies science fiction movies and tv shows these figures are generated usually you see a um, back screen so some shows is going on and back screen is shown there different types of patterns are emerging in different colors and so on so all these patterns are emerging because of this type using uh, being generated using this type of lisazos figures technique then these are used to design new logos different types of logos of companies and other types of establishments can be generated using this type of lisazos figures as i said earlier billions of such type of lisazos figures can be generated so logos can be generated from that space station and satellites also uses lisazos orbits how that is not known to us you can inquiry or you can get information from that later on and another very important application is in the textile industry what is that we usually you might have seen any two persons wearing okay whatever clothes we wear we see different hundreds of thousands of millions of such type of patterns okay design patterns we see on your clothes so from where this design pattern comes for that we can use several different types of computers program computerized program and that patterns generate such type of very nice that that uh, programs generate very nice type of patterns and that's why in textile industry we can generate thousands of millions of billions of such types of patterns and thereby day by day we are getting good uh, good quality of clothes will design clothes different designs hatke designs apan tela manto marathi madhe so such type of designs can be generated so in textile industry this lisazos figures has lot many number of applications so here we have finished this particular chapter number 1 as its discussion with this uh, uh, <coughs> ppt and uh, very small mathematical part we have discussed here so from the examination point of view as i said right from session 1 to session 4 most of the things what we have discussed there can be uh, there can be several different types of questions can be designed and that will be helpful for you to answer all these questions in the forthcoming examination okay so thank you for being with me for all these four sessions right from 1 to 4 i hope in this entire exercise would have been very useful to you for studying for your uh, the coming internal as well as external examination of physics 1 that is oscillation waves and sound for chapter 1 so we are we will we'll stop this chapter in the next session we are going to see undamped uh, uh, harmonic oscillations and uh, again characteristics of that and all these things will be looked in the second case okay so with that i will stop here thank you thank you for kind cooperation right from the beginning thank you all